Hi, Scorpio here with a um, general reading for the sign of Scorpio. So anyone with Scorpio strongly in their chart, in their chart could resonate with this reading. Um, that said, it is a general reading and it will not fit for everyone. It may only make sense for a few of you, uh, but hopefully there's something here that can help you in your journey ahead. All right, Scorpio, I'm going to go ahead and get shuffling now. Uh, for those of you that prefer to miss the shuffling or to skip the shuffling, um, please do so. Um, there usually is a timestamp in the comment section of where the reading begins. Feel free to, to refer to that or to, to insert the, if there is none, if you want to insert the timestamp, that would be appreciated. All right, just getting into your energy here. So we already have some cards slipping. We have the Four of Swords, which talks about um, finding a new sense of balance, finding some healing. Um, let's let's go ahead and, and get out what's happening now for this group of Scorpios. What's happening now for this group of Scorpios? What's happening now for this group of Scorpios? We have the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles coming out. What's happening now for this group of Scorpios? What's happening now? We have the Nine of Pentacles. Scorpio, I love this. I absolutely love this energy, Scorpio. You know, it's always kind of fun when I when I bring out the situation um, because I never know what I'm going to get, as, as of course, I never know. Um, and I'm going to continue on here so I don't get stuck in this whole shuffling and spend too much time here. Uh, but we have the Four of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles. This is new stability, new financial balance here, and an inner um, inner sense of self, inner sense of strength. All right, let's go. Let's go ahead and move into the next incoming energy. This energy will go over um, the next seven to ten days. But but really, Scorpio, we know that everybody moves at at. Um, woo, I'm going into this energy. Okay. Everyone moves at different speeds, and so while we say seven to ten days, it could be a month. It, you know. Going into this next wave of energy that you're going to be moving into, the next wave of energy, the next incoming future, um, the next incoming future, the next incoming future for Scorpios, 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 the next incoming future for Scorpios. Ooh, there we go. There's still more energy. One more energy. One more energy here. Sorry, I want to keep these in order. One more energy here for Scorpio. One more energy. There we go. There's a lot here. There's a big story to be told. Strength. I knew it. I could feel it. Knight of Wands. Passionately moving forward. Judgment. Two of Cups. I don't read reversals, Scorpio. Um, I can feel the energy, right? I can feel the energy. So this came in like this. Well, I can feel like there's some kind of change with, with a partner here. Like I can feel that. I don't have to, I don't have to, I don't like to do that. Like I, I, I don't like to add weight to an energy that why do that? Like I already can, why am I in this weird energy, Scorpio? We can be influenced again when you're empath when you're an empath, you can be influenced by the energy that comes into you. So sometimes the word I, words I say um, are being influenced by the energy. It's kind of interesting how that how that works. All right, now some guidance now, guidance now for Scorpio, guidance for Scorpio, guidance for Scorpio. Ace of Wands, beautiful. Guidance for Scorpio. Okay. All right, Scorpio, there will be an extended reading that goes deeper into these energies and we will take this scenario out into the future and I will look at timing in the extended. For right now, let's get this reading out. Um, we start off in, okay, so it is 4 minutes 41 seconds, starting this reading, a reminder that we're all moving at different speeds. We live all around the world in different cultures and different ethnicities. Um, we're all moving through different kinds of experiences. It is um, very unlikely that all of us will hit 
this new wave of energy at the same time. So while I'm saying seven to 10 days, it doesn't necessarily have to be that. Some of you could have already hit this energy. Some of you will hit it in January, right? So um, that said, let's go ahead and get started in this reading. We start out at the Four of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, let me just say when I'm in this energy, there is a powerful energy here. So this group of Scorpios is in a very powerful energy, very strong energy, very, very forward moving energy, um, almost like Sagittarius type energy. Um, stronger than that, though, like there's an intensity here. Okay, I, I, I don't need to get let me let me get myself balanced here. I wasn't expecting this. Scorpio. <laughs> okay. So we're starting out in the Four of Pentacles energy with the Nine of Pentacles. This is new stability with the Four of Pentacles. New stability here. Um, feeling stable. Um, you have reached a, a place in life where you could have been for some time in the stability. Um, you could have been in um, <clears throat> a place of, of growth in your life, a place of financial growth or growth in how you feel about risk in your life. Um, we have the Nine of Pentacles here. So in this period of time, you have gained strength. You've gained strength. This stability that you've had has given you the platform and, and has helped build a foundation of internal strength, right? Whether you have amassed up a small fortune, you have um, accumulated a, a nice, healthy emergency fund, or you have an income now that is reliable and steady. Whatever this is for you, you have a new <clears throat> energy is changing. You have a new found sense and it doesn't even have to be a new sense. The four of pentacles energy, you could stay in that energy for a while. So you could have been in this energy for a while. Um, I do feel the energy is changing as I move my energy around. So I'm getting to this ace of wands here. There is a brand new passionate action in your life in the future. Um, or that you're moving into, but you have been in a place or you, yeah, you, some of you could have been in the Four of Pentacles for a while. Personally, for me, Scorpio, I, I stayed it, I stayed in the Four of Pentacles energy for, um, I, I stayed in the Four of Pentacles energy from, you know, um, five years, about five or six years, I was in the Four of Pentacles energy because it's really kind of hard to move out of the Four of Pentacles. Once you've experienced financial loss or, or trauma, or um, just being in a place of being in survival mode, once you reach stability, it's really hard to move out of stability and into new change because um, that it feels like a warm blanket. You might not have a whole lot, right? You might not have, be um, in a place of abundance, but you do have stability and that can feel good. But for you, you've built on that stability. You've built on that stability. You have new strength in your life with the Nine of Pentacles. You could, have, you could be single, um, you don't have to be single with the Nine of Pentacles, but what this Nine of Pentacles energy is, it's an energy of knowing who you are and knowing who you are without the needs of others, right? This is being reliable, self-reliant. This is being able to um, not find so much need in your life to attach to other people or attach to other people's dreams, right? Sometimes when we're feeling like we don't have enough personal strength, we, we can sometimes tend to follow someone else's dream or get onto someone else's bandwagon or have a boss that says, um, just work for me. When we succeed, when we get to that point, I will give you this. You will have this kind of salary. But until then, until then, until we make our dream come true, um, this is the salary you'll have. You'll barely able be able to live on it. But we're growing, we're growing, right? This kind of a scenario. But when we make it big, this is how much you'll make. That's kind of getting on someone else's dream, isn't it? Someone else's dream, that's not your dream, but you can get pulled um, because you're you're relying on, on some type of success in which you will get a reward. And sometimes that does come true. And sometimes that is a beautiful situation. Um, but But here we see this nine of pentacles energy, which is, understanding who you are in reality, understand how you have succeeded in your life, really um, coming to terms with your own strength and how strong you are and, and how much willpower you have. And we have Pentacles here, which is talking about real life, real life situations here um, with, with the Scorpio energy, real life situations. You're in a place of stability of finances. You are self-reliant. You have this strong internal sense of self. You're able to make your own choices now. 
um, and and you're excited because you're moving into a year, new year, and there's a feeling um, of of real optimism here as you move in, right? Okay, now as I move into this next period of time, it kind of catches my breath. All right, so I'm going to move into the future, and then we'll move up here to the guidance. All right, so I'm moving into the future here. We have the strength energy coming in next to the Knight of Wands. Oh, that's where I felt that energy, that passionate forward movement. All right, so we have strength with passionate forward movement. Now, the Knight of Wands energy is a beautiful, powerful energy, and sometimes it gets a bad rap. It doesn't always have to be about love. In fact, I don't think this, this reading is about a partnership, uh, of, about something, a change in a partnership. It doesn't necessarily have to be about love. But the Knight of Wands can really um, create change in life, right? Whereas the Knight of Cups is more of a romantic, slow-moving, softer, shyer energy, and the Knight of Pentacles is a slow-moving, strong, analytical energy, um, and the Knight of... Um, Swords is a fast-moving, truth-telling, surprising, maybe angry energy. The Knight of Wands is a passionate, strong energy that helps push you into new frontiers. And you can't really keep this energy up for very long, even Sagittarius people. It's hard to even keep this energy for very long. So this is an energy that comes in bursts and spurts. It's not something that can be maintained for a long period of time by most people, but it is a necessary energy to help us move into new frontiers, to help us move into new situations. And you have the strength energy, which is adding on to that powerful energy moving forward. So you could be very strong in the words that you say. You could be very strong in how you're moving forward. You could be bursting here and bursting there and doing this and doing that and just being very strong. I'm having a very strong energy. So other people that are not in this energy are going to kind of look at you like, oh my gosh, or oh wow, or okay, you know, those kind of responses. And you're going to be like, wow, that's that's a weird response. Or, you know, you're, you're going to feel like a vibratory difference in the way you are and the way others are around you because you have this very strong, um, passionate energy that you're in right now. As you move, this is the future energy. This is the energy that you're moving into. Now, the strength energy also talks about having the courage and having the willpower, knowing that you have the capacities and the skills and the inner inner guidance to actually make this Knight of Wands energy be successful. So something about this Knight of Wands is taking, um, it, it does take something out of you, Scorpio, like it does make you tired at the end of the day. It's not something that is done effortlessly. It's something that's done um because of the amount of willpower that you have and the capacity that you have to be successful, right? And you do have the page of swords over the top of these energies. So this is maybe something new that you're learning or, or some uneasiness that you feel about this. Um, but ultimately here, you have new, uh, new um, options coming in for you in the future, right? There has been some type of major change here that's, that um, is connected with a partnership that you were in. Um, you could have, this could have been an employer, this could have been a neighbor. This could have been a significant other or an intimate partner or a family member. Um, the Two of Cups is an energy of partnership. It's an energy of um, being on the in the same wavelength, having the same goals and mindset. Um, again, the Two of Cups doesn't have to be love. If this is a general reading, not a love reading, although love can come out. But so far, I don't feel some of you, this could be a love situation. But let me tell you, um, this love situation here, if it's a love situation, it's this decision and these changes that you're making are not being made in a romantic sense. They're being made in a, practic a practical, passionate way. All right. So if this is between two people who are in a relationship, um, it, this is done out of practicality and out of passion for the future rather than out of a romantic, loving, um, warm, fuzzy kind of an energy. Here's the thing, Scorpio, as you move into the next um, week or two or the next month, you have some new options opening up for you. Um, you. You are feeling a little bit uneasy about what to do, and you could have maybe spent some time for a while not really knowing which way to go. Um, but, but we see that this energy of not really knowing which way to go, it's, it's clearing. So you're getting some direction in the next couple of weeks. You're, you're getting some direction and you're moving forward in the Six of Wands in a new way. Um, and this new way that you're stepping out into the community or into the world in some way has to do with changes um, in, in this partnership that you've been working with. 
Um, this could even be with two companies working together. If you're taking this energy all the way up to the most powerful energies in the world, this could be two countries that are learning to work together in a different way. Remember, this is energy and it can be applied um, to the smallest of situations, moving up to the most powerful of situations, right? So this could even be like a, a political reading, right? It could be because we're looking at energies. Um, so there is new um, passionate movement forward. You're going to decide. <clears throat> and it could be in something that you say, because my throat chakra keeps being impacted here. It could be in something that you say. You could be coming out. You could be making a decision here about a partnership and coming out and saying what your decision is and releasing that decision to the public. You could be doing um, you could be doing a media release. You could be sending um, some kind of a notice to the newspaper to to um, notify the public with the Six of Wands. You could be um, accepting a new job, a new, you could be accepting a new job with a new company and um, notifying your other company here with the Six of Wands. You could be stepping out into a new role in the community. You could be deciding that you're gonna run for political office. There is, there is kind of an interesting, like a little bit of a tinge of politics here for some reason um, with the Six of Wands. So for some reason here, you're deciding and making a change. So we have the judgment energy, which is some type of major change coming in. You've, you've had some options here and you make a decision and you move forward and release that information to the people around you. This could even be uh, making a decision in um, changing jobs or changing career paths and notifying your significant other, notifying your significant other um, about whatever change this is, because this is definitely options here and a major change in life coming in, right? And you do have an ace of wands here, a brand new opportunity here, brand new action being taken, a new opportunity for a new kind of action, all right? So again, this could also be deciding to um, d separate a relationship. This could be divorce. This could be um, terminating some kind of a contract you have with someone. Um, this could be in business. This could be um, in any kind of a way where you could have a contract or a commitment with someone. Um, you could be deciding to terminate it here and then notifying the public or notifying that person or notifying that company because there's kind of a notifying energy, notification, um, announcement kind of energy here. And you, you could be feeling a little uneasy about this. Of course, it's hard. Scorpio, of course, it's hard to do that. I mean, there's some, with the judgment energy, there is some kind of major change with the seven of cups over the top of judgment. There's a major change that's coming in here in the next short period of time. And you're moving forward passionately with a lot of willpower and courage. Even though you're feeling uneasy, you could be watching the people around you. You could be watching a significant other. You could be just observing the community but you're making a decision here and you're moving forward in the announcement of that, in the announcement of that. We'll, we'll look into the future here and in the timing and the extended, but that's what I'm seeing here in the next incoming energy. Now for the guidance is that we have the Ace of Wands with the Three of Swords. So there is a new, there is a new opportunity, a new, something new that's coming in for you that's very passionate. You feel very passionate about it. And it, and it's an energy that allows you or that lets you or that gives you the opportunity to go into action. Going into action to do something that you feel passionate about. That's coming up for you. And I think that that's what this story is about. We do have it next to the Three of Swords. So there is some sadness that goes with this or maybe some anxiety. Um, it's not keeping you up at night because it's not the nine of swords, but it's, it's affecting, it's, it's, it's affecting the way you feel. So it's, it's the, it's the thoughts that you're having, the thoughts you're having are, are affecting the heart and the health of the heart, the health of the love center. So either someone has done something to you that have, have affected the love center within you that it could have hurt it could have diminished it, could have um, taken away your capacity to feel love. And you're moving into a brand new period of passion and action now and overcoming. Or you could be moving into a period of time where you're working to overcome something in your life that was painful. 
This could also be moving out in the community to start something new to help the pain of the community, right? But there's definitely pain here. Um, and the pain is connected with your thoughts. So it's, it's your thoughts, the way you're thinking. It could have be how this pain in your heart has affected the way you think about a situation. The Three of Swords is a great teacher. The Three of Swords can teach. It's about mental expansion. It's about understanding and enlightenment um, in the human experience. And whatever this pain has been, you have learned an incredible amount of, of wisdom here, and you're moving out in a different direction now, making change in your life, making change in your community, perhaps even making changes in the world. And that's happening here as we speak. It's happening as we speak. Let me see if there is any energy that I want to connect in in this reading. I, I, I always like, Scorpio, when I do these readings, I always like to lead at, in, in a period of time or in a space that feels like there's been some kind of an ending. There's, I don't like cliffhanger, cliffhangers. Yes, I do the extended reading where I go pretty deeply into these energies and I go into the future, but I don't like to leave these readings unfinished because these readings are for a short period of time, right? And we know that time, you know, it takes time for things to take place. You know how fast a week can go. <clears throat> you know how fast a month can go. Um, and so, you know, please take that into consideration. I do want to dig a little deeper into this partnership. Please tell us more information about this Two of Cups. Please tell us more information about this Two of Cups. High Priest is flipped over. Could be a Pisces energy. Please tell us more information of this Page of Cups. King of Cups. Page of Pentacles. So there could be, well, this is you. This could be a Scorpio energy here. Um, King of Cups energy. So you could be, let's say you're a feminine energy. You could have some type of a, a change, a major change coming in here with the masculine energy of your partner. So, um, you know, we, for, I, I know that my audience is, is mainly female. I have, um, like 78% of you are female. The rest are male. Um, I know that genders, um, are, you know, we have the male and female, but I know that everybody has different variations of, of the emotional size of that. And um, that's, I don't want to get into that, but but um, let me just explain. The King of Cups is a masculine energy um, that is a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Pisces, Cancer. And this energy takes takes responsibility or takes, this energy focuses on creating healing and warmth and nourishment in the exterior world, in the external world. So this could be a counselor, a healer, a doctor, anyone who brings um, healing and improvement in the world around them. If this is a relationship, this is a person who is a partner to the Queen of Cups, right? This is also a person who in the relationship is maybe not so much a word speaker, but, but an action taker. So this person likes to fix things and um, actually do things. This person is love language is fixing things, helping improve things, doing things for the other person rather than maybe saying the words. All right. In, in a good vibration, this person is generous, heartwarming, um, loving, giving, um, very willing to work on things, very willing to fix things in a, um, in, under a dire situation or in an energy that is not helpful or an energy of um, where this person is not comfortable, this person could be, um, it's like hard even to go there for me right now, but this person could be manipulative. This person could be deceptive. This person could cause the opposite in a relationship, could cause destruction, could cause um, you to not feel nourished, but to feel diminished, right? It's the opposite of what this person could be in, in the positive energy. Um, so it just kind of depends for you how this person come, it comes in. But we see real change now with the Page of Pentacles. Real change now. Things beginning to happen. Maybe not hugely significant because it's only a page. But we do start to see or receive messages or to see small changes that give us a strong indication um, that there is a, a new energy coming in here um, re regarding or around this King of Cups. 
whether this is in bringing healing and vitality to your own environment, or this is bringing some changes in here with this partnership, with this partner, right? It could be a, a, a marriage. It could be an intimate partner. It could be a um, coworker. It could be a, um, a business that you are partnering with on a project. It could be any a partner. It could be any kind of a partner here. But there's a true partnership here. There is a, there is a true partnership here with the King of Cups coming out. Let's look at this Ace of Wands before we go. The Ace of Wands energy. Please tell us more about this Ace of Wands. Please tell us more about this Ace of Wands. Wheel of Fortune. I love that. Wheel of Fortune is here with this Ace of Wands. That's a really good sign, Scorpio. A really good sign. New movement, new momentum, new actions being taken. Could be new money here. Could be new money or more money. Um, we have the Five of Swords. This is about some kind of a conflict. Conflict with this partner, Magician. Creating, solving the situation. Uh, moving forward, finding an answer. Manifesting a new future. Um, it, you might have had to even go into a conflict knowing that there was going to be a conflict. You might have had to say, you know what, if I'm going to find my freedom, if I'm going to find my independence, if I'm going to uh, make this change, I know that I'm going to be stepping into conflict. I know I am. And so in order to do this, I agree now to step into some kind of a conflict. And there's new momentum here. There's a brand new action opportunity, a brand new situation for you. The Wheel of Fortune. This is new movement now. You could have stayed in a place of, um, of real stagnation here for a while in this stability. Um, and as you gain strength in that stability, as you gain strength, you knew that there was some type of a conflict here as you would move into the next step. So that's the kind of the guidance that's coming in. All right, Scorpio, um, I feel good about where we're at right now. I'm going to move into the extended. I'm going to dig deeper into this Ace of Wands. I'm going to dig deeper into this change with a partner here in the Six of Wands energy. And then we'll take this situation out into the future and I'll look at timing as well. All right. Thank you very much, Scorpio. It's always a pleasure to read um, for the beautiful and powerful and the deep Scorpio energy. Beautiful. Also wishing you the very best, the very, um, the very, the very, I, I, it's like all these P words, prosperous, profound, um, wish you all the best. Thank you.